And this is that which everybody needs. The police need it. The judges need it. The psychiatrists need it. The psychologists need it. Everybody needs it because you cannot be authorized, licensed, certified, or degreed by a system of government, education, miseducation, religious training, and whatnot to function outside of the intelligence of existence. You cannot be authorized to be a perpetuator of sickness, illness, disease, and death as livelihood and then think that everything should be all right with your life and to remember that there is justice and that justice does not depend upon people who have been fed all manners of garbage being able to come to a unanimous decision as to whether this one is guilty or not you understand the fact that they are guilty and offensive within the, the their own cells puts them in a position where they literally are not in a place where they can truly be those who are the dispensers of justice. Justice is about absolute law. Nobody is beyond it. So those trigger happy policemen who are filled with the flesh of dead animals, the aborted fetuses of chickens, the pus and mucus of cows, donuts and coffee and alcohol and whatnot, they are not going to get away with anything even if they have to lose the lives of their own children or their grandchildren or they be phased out of existence. You just don't know what they will bring forward to them. But our leverage is in coming to that place and space where we are completely committed to doing that, which is truly in our own best interest. Because when you are under siege, when there is an intent and an agenda that is being perpetuated through government, religion, miseducation, and society and culture, when you turn any way you go and you see that people are trying to make sure that you are not a thinking person trying to make sure that you are addicted to one thing or the other trying to ensure that they have your attention they have your commitment they have your dollar to do that which keeps them in business and puts you in a position where you are dissipating your life force that you are losing your grip on reality that you are coming to a point in place where you are trying to justify in your mind why it is you have the right to be killing yourself and then complain when these ones kill your children when you were killing them the entire time see they got y'all in a vibration where you feel as though it's your right to do a slow death and anybody that takes you out of your right to die slowly is now criminal. But you were not criminal in feeding off of the death of other beings. You were not criminal in defiling and desecrating your body temple where the spirit of the living God is supposed to be dwelling. You are in a place and space where your mind, your spirit, that which animates you, that which animates you without you having to think about it. It may not be thinking, you are thinking, the conscious mind that you are is thinking, and then that absolute and supreme intelligence is on automatic pilot, breathing you, beating your heart, and it is trying to make adjustments for every foul thing that you bring into your body. It is trying to bring you forward to homeostasis, to the balance, to continue to do that which is clearing and cleansing you, whether you have sense enough to, to do that for yourself or not. You are absolutely and divinely blessed. Now, I am encouraging you to care enough about yourself, care enough about your health, care enough about our collective reality as a community and global family that needs to rise completely up towards our own degree of salvation and deliverance from the wickedness of a world system that is intended to depopulate through this system of genocide in the perpetuation of sickness, illness, disease, and death through legalized genocide disguised as free enterprise.
And we have so much warfare, man against man, man against woman, woman against children. You understand is that when you have a people, when you have a global people, when you have people anywhere that are divided within themselves and they don't care to correct, they don't care to pull themselves together. They don't care to realize that there is an inherent purpose in being and to be purposed in their being based upon the intelligence of, of life itself. If they do not want to wake up after all of the differing things that they have created, situations and circumstances that allowed them to either feel very, very good and very, very blessed about who they are, where they are, what they are, what they're doing, or to feel very, very bad as a result of what they've allowed themselves to be caught up in. We have to realize that you are the only one who can really accept correction for yourself and the more each one of us stands and cares to be aligned with the laws of life with the intelligence of existence with the way of, of life which is love the more each one of us cares to position ourselves from that perspective this is how we begin to radiate a power that no man and no system and no government can defile but if you are filled with all of this garbage, then you are filled with doubt. You are filled with insecurity. You are filled with a sense of hopelessness and powerlessness and helplessness. You are consistently trying to figure out why don't they do something? And then you continue to go to the store and buy the flesh of dead animals and the aborted fetuses of chickens and the pus and mucus of cows and all manners of dark, dank things that undermine the integrity of your own divinity. And I know as a result of us being fed this way, I got it too as a child.